Hi guys and yeah, welcome to the channel. Andy here with you once again. Uh, we're not in Sydney, it's as you probably gathered. Um, we're actually in Uganda and uh, we're at the um, Country Lake Resort, uh, which is outside in Tebe. Uh, so nice resort, on, it's actually on the shores of Lake Victoria. And um, it's off season at the moment, so it's, it's quite quiet actually. Um, I found something, I found Noah's, Noah's Ark. So I thought I'd do actually show you a little bit about the resort actually and uh, you know what it consists of. I mean it's a lot of wildlife here as you probably can hear in the background actually and there's a lot of chalets here as well and um, well let me, let me show you a few. Now there's this one here this is called the Albert and uh, that's what it looks like in here. walk further down and you'll probably notice actually that uh, all the villas on this side are named after English kings there's another one there as you can see and on the other side are sort of uh, African names like the one above me well, you can head further down the complex actually. Um, it's not it's not that expensive to stay here. Actually, we stayed here for three nights, and it's cost approximately thirty five pound a night, which is which is not bad. Which is actually including the the breakfast as well. Now this is where we're staying, a place called Kwani, which is there, and um, and uh, our place is down here. Getting pretty close to, to the lake now. So let's continue continue walking. As you see, it's very green here actually. Now, I came here about a year ago. Uh, a lot of this here was actually underwater because uh, Lake Victoria had flooded for some reason. Uh, I think they opened, forgot to open the dams at the other end and then the water was coming in from the other side and uh, it overfilled and everything. But anyway, things are getting back to normal now. And um, actually, right over there is, uh, you know, hundreds of miles, it's Kenya. As I said, um, it's actually off season at the moment, so things are, are pretty quiet actually. Um, we came here at night time, and um, they have a, like a little disco playing, but uh, only a few people here, because um, it's actually, um, it's, a, it's a Wednesday, so not a lot actually happening. Um, as I mentioned, a lot of little restaurants here, based on the, uh, on the shore of Victoria. <laughs> Now what I like about Uganda actually is the weather because um, it's midday now and uh, the temperature here is around about 
28 degrees so I mean it's really nice night time the coldest it gets is, is usually around about 19 degrees so uh, it's like a to be honest it's like a English summer you know when you say summer wow the weather's really nice not too hot not too cold that's what it's like that and it's like that all the time which is great of course they do have a rainy season here um, and it, in fact it's actually rainy season now but we were lucky not much rain happening at the moment <laughs> restaurant here you can have local fish uh, which they catch locally here at the uh, Lake Victoria so the fish is, is very nice so let's have a, another continue and have another bit of walk up here and see what else we can see this is the love nest just here right. let's go down to see what we can see So is Lake Victoria Tidal? Actually it is, believe it or not. Um, last night when we came here, uh, this bit that we see down here was actually underwater. So that pathway there was actually underwater last night and you went to that little uh, little lookout island there and uh, of course it's not used anymore. And what they've done actually, they've actually um, blocked it off here because uh, the water was coming in here. So the water level is um, still a bit on the high side. So let's continue our little walk and see what else we can actually see here. Now, if you're watching this from Sydney, it's, uh, we, you, you're probably aware that we have a guy who does sort of murals all over the place. And uh, we have one here as well. Where, where the disco is uh, at, at night time. Here's a fisherman's restaurant, which is just here. Let's have a look. Well, there we go, that's the fisherman's uh, restaurant there. And uh, we're back outside again here. We'll continue walking. We're heading towards, well, um, there's a swimming pool up here somewhere. So we're gonna have a, see if we can find that as well. Uh, there's something happening over there. I'm not quite sure what it is. I think actually they're geared up to do a lot of conferences here because uh, we, we need one conference room, there's another one over there and there's another one behind me. Anyway, let's see if we can find the swimming pool. Well, this is a swimming pool. It looks like it's closed at the moment still. It's all locked up and everything, but uh, as I said, it's out of season at the moment. So that's probably the reason why. So, let's leave the swim pool and, uh, well, see what else we can discover here at this uh, resort. Well, 
Well guys, there we go. There, that's my my little trip here um, at the resort here. I thought I might show you it. Um, as I say, out of season. And uh, I think actually, to be honest, it could do with a bit of loving and care and attention actually. But uh, I suppose I'd be doing this over the next few months before open season actually starts again. Anyway, this is Andy saying thanks very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. And uh, we'll catch you a little bit later. Oh yeah, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please do, that would be fantastic. And uh, if you want to leave a comment, do that, that'll be great. And, uh, and a like, <laughs> don't forget that. Once again, this is Andy saying thanks very much for watching and we'll catch you a little bit later. Bye for now, bye bye.